Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are back in River Clan with Stream Lily and I am very excited to see just how far she is going to be able to get on her goal of becoming a deputy assistant today. We only have five more battles that she must help River Clan win against the other cats before she is going to be able to become the deputy's assistant which would be very exciting for her since after all the deputy is her father, Deputy Coldfur. So it's going to be very exciting to see if we can finally bring Stream Lily up to that point, especially because then we might be able to get to the point where we can make her a mentor. Let's go back over and talk to Clear Star. I think now would be about the time that she would go and speak to her leader, Clear Star, the leader of River Clan, and ask him exactly what it would take in order for her to become a mentor. And that's going to be two bonus coins. So I can't remember quite how many bonus coins we have. So let me go ahead. Let's see. Blue tabby a whole bunch of different coat colors that we can get hmm yeah I'm not sure I think we have one bonus coin already and we have enough to get another bonus coin but I think we're gonna focus kind of on gathering up a lot of reputation today so we can exchange them for bonus coins and prepare for mentorship I think that'd be really fun for stream Lily and I am very surprised and quite pleased to see just how many of you guys want to see shade for and spot for possibly become stream Lily's uh, mate because a lot of you guys would love to see a, a child born from stream Lily and I think that would be very interesting but at the same time I'm also very very curious uh, about how that romance would work out I just don't know if Stream Lily is the romantic type so we're gonna have to see just how her story plays out but I think her mother Stream Tail would be calling her into the nursery to ask for help with the kits once more I don't think Stream Lily is really that into kits but I do think that uh, she listens to her mother Stream Tail because I bet most of her really like aggressive sassiness probably comes from Stream Streamtel. So let's see what Streamtel is going to need help with with the kits today. And let's see, uh, still the smooth river stones. Let's just go collect a whole bunch of them. I think Stream Lily would be like, ah, oh, again? Okay, fine. Let me go get a whole bunch. So let's get something to drink from over here. Let's go talk to Deputy Coldfur and let's see exactly what we're going to need to do when it comes to more battles. And then I think Stream Lily would just kind of be like flipping her tail behind her in agitation and wanting to go gather a ton of river stones to just line up around camp since the kits seem so insistent on playing with them. That actually sounds like it would be kind Kind of a fun way for her to interact with them too just bringing back stone after stone after stone and maybe we can pile them up down here so little glean kit can enjoy them all right deputy cold fur and the gorge has been a disputed area between us and wind clan it seems like wind clan and river clan are really having quite a few intense battles lately so hopefully we'll be able to fight them off again and i may bring back some oh and actually let's see if we have any presents from spot fur and shade fur this time shade fur Stream Lily, what's up? Is all he has to say. And Spot Fur, oh hey, how's it going? So I think these two are pretty much identical twins, <laughs> and you could pick you could pick between either cat, and it would still be kind of the same thing. But let's go ahead and see if we can find. I think Stream Lily is just in the mood to look primarily for the rocks today. And there's a whole bunch of rocks over here, actually, because this is where the border between Thunder Clan and River Clan is. And Stream Lily still really hates Thunder Clan. And I have no idea how would she react if she found out that her younger sister from another litter, Dark Lily, who is much younger than her, has actually been sneaking away and going to Apple Clan and possibly beginning to fall in love with Apple Shadow, son of Renfeather. I wonder how Stream Lily would take that. I don't think it would be very well. I think she would consider that like a deep, deep betrayal from her sister. All right, but we'll go ahead and gather up these river stones for now. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Might as well sneak onto ThunderClan territory just a little bit. Nope, no river stones there. Ooh, look at all these river stones. Jeez. She's finding a whole bunch of them at least. Up, oh, up. Oh. Novice Ashclaw, huh? Yeah, don't think, don't think so, Ashclaw. All right, we chased him off. Rainheart. Wow, Rainheart, I wonder if that's like a brother of hers or something. That would be pretty cool. Streamily, do you have a brother just wandering by? So little novice Ashclaw got a got quite the um, scolding, or he really got kind of beat up by the two River Clan cats over here at the river. So we'll have to see how that. Oh, oh no! Uh, stand my ground. Oh, that's so cool. So that's the stand your ground effect. So it looks like Stream Lily can kind of stand her ground. And I imagine, oh, just think how intense this would be with her hissing and spitting and daring the ThunderClan cats to come over here. Oh, that's so cool. Can I, can I, can I reach out and get some of them? 
Okay, we managed to scratch a couple of them. There's Greyheart, Prey Pool, and Mouse Fur. Can I get Greyheart from over here? Okay, and then there's Prey Pool and Mouse Fur. And we can kind of, we can dare them to try to come over into the water. Let's get Prey Pool. Okay, don't, don't get, okay, don't get too caught up in the battle. Oh, and the, the sun is setting and it's dark now. It's hard to see. Stream Lily, Stream Lily, are you gonna win this? Stream Lily, get away, Stream Lily. Maybe we should get her out of here. Is she gonna win this fight at all? Um, all right, we managed to attack him again. Ooh, that was a good hit. Look at that, she did a ton of damage. Okay, we should probably get out of here soon though. Okay, now she's slipped into the water. Oh my gosh, now it's getting super dark. Okay, let's get out of here. Streamily is definitely weakened from that and she hasn't even eaten yet. I need to not take that many risks with her if I want her to live long enough to, to have some sort of apprentice of her own. I don't know, maybe we'll have to we'll have to vote on if she seems to be more of a romantic cat. We're gonna drag her into her bed. Exhausted, hungry, tired from her battle. We're gonna pull her over. She needs to get something to eat. Let's talk to Thrush Ear. And let's go ahead and get some food. There we go, so she's full. We'll drink a little bit of the water that's collecting on this little bit of moss right here. And then we have a whole bunch of stones that we can drag into the nursery. And I think Stream Lily once again needs to go and speak with Willow Fur to heal up a little bit. All right, there we go. And what can you do when you become a medicine cat apprentice? Oh, you can heal yourself. Now that would be really useful. So I don't think she would go out of her way to really heal herself, but it makes sense that Stream Lily would possibly want to at least gain the ability to use the herbs if, since she's such a, a intense warrior and she's always fighting all the time. So we need a little bit of comfrey. We have lots of comfrey. I brought in tons of comfrey. Let's pick up a piece of comfrey and then we'll take it back. There we go, there's a little bit of comfrey, and we'll take it up to Mouse Pounce. What a cute name, isn't that an adorable name? I really love the names that come with all of these cats. So Mouse Pounce, and another comfrey. Wow, they're just kind of locked on nothing but comfrey and rocks it seems. So I think Stream Lily is spending kind of some of her morning just wandering around the camp today. Another comfrey, holy moly. I guess Mouse Pounce, I guess maybe the River Clan cats seem to be real traditionalist and maybe that's because they are thriving so well. They obviously have one of the bigger clans that we've seen so far and they seem to be doing really, really well here. So, hmm, all right, geez. Okay, all, all that Moss Pounce wants is comfrey. So we'll go gather up more comfrey and is all Streamtail ever going to want just the, the stones? Maybe, all right. And, oh, an apple, <gasps> imagine that. A warrior brought the kits a strange thing the other days. The other day, he called it an apple, and the kit said it was delicious. Perhaps you could find another one of these apples and bring it back for the kits? You guys, what if the warrior who brought back the apple was actually Dark Lily? What if it was Dark, Stream Lily's sister? The one that we're saying is possibly, um, is possibly falling in love with Apple's, Apple Shadow of Apple Clan. That would be kind of interesting. There you go, kits. I think Stream Lily's like, there, now you have lots of pebbles to play with. But what if the one who brought the apple back was actually Dark Lily? Ooh, that would be such a twist. That would be kind of interesting. All right, let's get a, go ahead and get a drink. And then we're gonna send Stream Lily up to fight again, I think. So let's go and try to continue to push her, her towards uh, winning all of those battles and becoming a deputy assistant. That's really what I wanna see her do next. And we're just kind of going to focus on, oh, there's an apple actually. Well, there's a little bit of irony. Hmm. I think she would sniff at it suspiciously and then, oh man, what's going on over here? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got, we managed to get those ThunderClan cats. ThunderClan cats came to, to fight the apple. What if the apple was dropped by Apple Shadow or Apple Clan cats because they collect apples? And oh, what if the Apple Clan cats have started to learn to leave apples out to attract prey? And so that's why they collect up the apples. And it was just kind of an accident that Apple Heart, when, or like Apple Shadow, when gathering up all of the apples, realized that prey would come if he left the apples out long enough. And so what if now that was a Thunder Clan patrol searching and following the scent of apples? Ooh, that would be a good, a good little twist to our tale. Oh. And it looks like a fight has broken out. Oh, and we won! Just Stream Lily and the other cats showing up chased Wind Clan off. Did you see that? That was so cool. It's really fun when we win without even having to like do any fighting. Oh, okay, okay, there's fighting. Oh my gosh, they brought back a bigger patrol. 
<laughs> they brought back a huge patrol. No, Brookclaw. Oh, there's only a few cats left, though. If we can convince these cats to leave, Cliffheart, Smoothfur. Okay, come on. 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 All right. Are we doing any fighting? Okay, come on, Smoothfur. All right. Did we win now? Who knows? Maybe that was just a little. That was just a little group. Okay, that was kind of interesting and intense. Oh, there's a fish. Can Stream Lily do some fishing? All right, we might let her do a spot of fishing for just a minute. So fish seem like something good to bring back to. But we are going to continue to follow Stream Lily and Apple Shadow's stories for a little while longer. But I do want to start thinking about other clans that we're going to follow and other stories we are going to visit. Kind of like uh, having... Oops, I didn't mean to drop those right on top of each other. There we go. I do want to be able to see what's going on in Shadow Clan, for instance. I have an idea in mind for a new Wind Clan cat that I think you guys would really enjoy. Let's go ahead and gather up lots of comfrey since it seems to be in high demand, and we'll see if we can find any more fish really quickly. But it's really fun because so many things can happen to the cats so suddenly. I never know exactly how many how many episodes or how many days we have with each different cat. I mean, we could end up losing a cat the next day unexpectedly from a battle or all of a sudden they could get hit by a monster. And if we don't have a cat to inherit their legacy in the clan, like we don't have a apprentice that they trained or we don't have a kitten that they had, then that may bump us to a new clan. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We will continue to follow one line of story until that cat happens happens to pass away somehow or we decide it is just time because maybe we end up with a super powerful cat who no nothing ever happens to them that is bad um and we'll just continue to follow these stories as little lighthearted stories for a few minutes each day but i am getting so excited you guys so pumped up and so ready to really start doing a lot of fun little things in sims 3 and i have fallen so in love with the cats that we have dealt with in the the untold tales series that I, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do it, but I definitely want to include them and maybe even little snippets of their stories in The Sims 3 at some point in the future too. So I may start making some of them in Sims 3 so that we can have them around. Ooh, Stream Lily, can you get that mouse? Yeah, all right, and we'll go ahead and bury it and come back for it later. But I may start starting, or I may start like creating them in Sims 3 the way we did with Rinfeather and uh, there we go and Wild Nose and seeing their kits and I may just start providing for instance Deputy Coldfur as a Sims 3 cat available for you guys to download and add into your own challenges. It would be so fun to see how different people use the different cats in different ways. Oh, It's just going to be awesome. So there's lots and lots of plans but in case you're wondering like how long are we going to follow Stream Lily the answer is until she either has somebody to inherit her place and we decide it's time to move on or until something unexpected happens to her for instance if I had misjudged that last battle then we may have ended up losing her today so there's a lot of drama for what can happen to stream Lily all right let's go ahead and give mouse pounce this little bit of oh my gosh mouse pounce just wants nothing but comfrey mouse pounce are you like broken all mouse pounce wants is comfrey and we did manage to find that apple for the kits at least so let's go ahead and give that to stream tail and then the nursery looks so bland. I mean, there's moss and reeds, but I think it needs something more. I've seen some two legs with some pretty fancy and shiny things they wore on their hands. If one of them dropped one near a road or path, it'd make the nursery look much better. If you find one, can you bring it here? Oh, do we ever have one, Stream Lily, or Stream Tail, excuse me. All right, we'll go ahead. That's one of our victory rocks, so we don't want to take our victory rocks away. But we'll give the extra shiny thing we have to Stream Tail. There we go. Oh, I don't I haven't given it to her yet. But we'll we'll keep this shiny thing. We found one by accident, and this one we actually found after we ended up accidentally killing another cat uh, as Stream Lily. So we're gonna keep that one and just say that it's the one that she found after she visited the moonstone and kind of received Star Clan's blessing, even though she accidentally killed another cat. And then we have more Riverstone request. Totally can handle that. Oh no, and now Streamtail, her mom wants another fancy shiny thing. That kind of reminds me of all the drama we had when we had the uh, the queen in the nursery with Renfeather who just continually demanded shiny things. All right, Spotfur, let's go ahead and we're good. Oh, Spotfur gave us something. You guys, Spotfur literally gave us a pebble. He gave us a rock. Spotfur, Spotfur. Oh my gosh, Shadefur. 
Uh, Shadefur doesn't have anything to give us, but we gave him a dead fish. And we're going to give uh, Spot for a dead fish. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That was really considerate. That kind of is a point in Spot Fur's favor. Uh, because Spot Fur did give us a smooth stone. And we have been hauling so many smooth stones into the nursery. Maybe he thinks we really like the kits and he doesn't realize that Stream Lily is just going to be super obedient to her mother. That's kind of adorable. And then Shade Fur, I don't know you guys. I know you really love kittens. I just don't know if Stream Lily is going to be the mom type, if that makes sense. And then let's go ahead and we're going to go to sleep. Oh, it's too late to go to sleep. She stayed up all night. Oh no. We're going to go ahead and drop this dead fish over here. We're going to eat with thrush ear. We're going to let Stream Lily drink. And then let's talk to trainer Fairy Frost to see if she has enough experience from her fighting and her battles in order to level up. And she's getting there. I think we will continue to work on her Feral Slash because it seems to be extremely useful as a fighting maneuver. And hopefully Stream Lily and her story and just the adorable relationship she's starting to get with Comfrey Obsessed Mouse Pounce and the goofiness of Spot for really, really loving uh, to give her a pebble of all things. Her commanding and kind of bossy mother Stream Tail and her very fascinating, amazing warrior father, uh, Cold Fur. I just love seeing how it's all working out. I love seeing how we found a Thunderclam patrol chasing down the scent of apples today. I love seeing how the kits were given an apple by a certain warrior who was Dark Lily, Stream Lily's younger sister visiting Apple Clan, and just weaving all of these stories together. So hopefully Stream Lily will live for many more days yet, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.